Hey folks, Corey here with Fist of Stone Wargaming. Welcome to the Stone Path. In today's video, I'm going to return to the Blackstone Fortress to talk about how I paint Urghuls. I paint these Urghuls with a quick and easy four paint color scheme. To start off, I'm going to use Griff Charger Gray and a Kellyan Green along with a medium shade brush. Over a prime of Wraithbone, I'm going to just start laying out the Griff Charger Gray over the majority of the model. I'm going to leave the very ends of the hands and the back in the prime for now. As you apply the paint, keep the brush moving. Go back over areas of the model that you've already touched to make sure the paint doesn't pool too heavily. You don't want to end up with a big glob of dark color. Since the Griff Charger Gray is less of a dominant color, I'm not too concerned about getting a little bit onto areas where I'm going to use the next couple of paints. Clean the brush off real quick and move right to the Achillean Green. This gives us a chance to have a little bit of a blend right at the border between the colors, but the Achillean Green is very strong and will generally overpower the Griff Charger Gray. This means you need to be careful with your application of this color. You can see as I'm working on the back of this miniature that some pools of Griff Charger Gray are starting to form. Once we're done with this Achillean Green, I'm going to take care of those. Clean the brush off and get most of the excess water out. Then start going over the miniature and soaking up all the little pools that have formed. As the brush starts to get loaded up, rinse it out, dry it off a little bit, and come right back and grab some more of the excess paint. The next color is going to be Magos Purple. This is for the hands and the nose. According to the lore, these guys don't have eyes, but their nose is right where the eyes would be on a normal human type miniature. Similar to the other applications, paint on the contrast paint, keep an eye out for pooling, and in this case, it's okay to let the paint run a little bit up the arm just to create some kind of a transition when you're working on the hands. When we get to the nose, it'll go right over the Griff Charger Gray. There's a look at all of the contrast paints finished. Next up, Wraithbone. Yep, we're going to go back to the prime color with a dry brush. You're going to want to make this dry brush very, very light. Be very careful as you build the color up. You don't want to put too much on because you don't want to ruin the work you just did with the contrast paints. But using a soft dry brush here will help blend the colors together just a little bit over their hard borders and kind of really bring the model together. So that's it, quick and easy, four colors and we're done. This model is now ready to be based. Please check out Stone Path Episode 4 for how I base all my miniatures for Blackstone Fortress. Here are some videos and photos for you to enjoy. Well, I hope there was something in that video that you found useful for your future hobby projects. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like down below. Also, please subscribe. Click the little bell icon for notifications on future videos that I post. If you're interested in checking out some more videos right now, click on one of the links that's on the screen. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on The Stone Path.